Thank you. Um, <laughs> happy Friday, guys. Um, it's the end of the week. We made it. We survived. I have some good news. Here, I'm going to actually start the Instagram so everyone can get the good news. Okay. Our workout today is mobility centric. So the good news is we will not be doing any jumping at all. Uh, low impact. I see hands going up. Yay. Um, however, that does not mean easy. Um, mobility work is sometimes some of the most challenging work that we're going to do because it is directly correlated to how well we can control our own body. Um, so everything we do today is going to be taken at a slower pace, unless I tell you otherwise. So just assume nice and slow, uh, working into those angles. So everything we do, we want to think, you know, bigger circles, bigger everything. Um, with that being said, we're going to do our same format. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Uh, and for some of the lower body stuff, because we're doing single leg, we're going to do, you know, one, two, three, four. We have two sets, but we're doing four reps because we have two legs. Uh, so with that being said, let's dive in and get started. Uh, bands are on, cycles are rolling, brains are in our heads. We're feeling good. It's the end of the week. And I'd like us to start just by shrugging the shoulders out. We know these ones. So some of the upper body stuff is going to be really, really familiar. We've done this before. Uh, the lower body, we have some newer things. And we are going to get our heart rate up, but we're going to do it in a mobility-centric, low-impact way. Good. Really moving around. Nice. And now just for warm-up purposes, elbows up working the hands side to side, keeping elbows in line with shoulders. We've got 30 seconds of this just to start to work into our shoulder mobility. And as you rotate the arms back, I want you to press, take it slowly and get as much rotation as you can. Yeah, so this is our upper body warm up. Nice. Good. Keep pulling the shoulders away from the ears. We don't want to hunch up just in the name of mobility. Great. Last 10 seconds, and we're going to ro rotate one direction and hold it in three, two, and one. Pick a side, press, squeeze, hold it. Five, four, three, two, switch, press, and squeeze. Draw your core and ring out as much range as you can. Six, five, four, three, two. Last time, drop the hands, squeeze it out, press, engage your core, grow even taller. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Now we tend to kind of tweak the hands here. Keep them flat. We have six, five, four, three, and two. Release. We should be starting to feel that burn in the shoulders. Next up, let's get into the spine and then our warm up will be complete. We'll come back up to stand for our workout. So make your way onto hands and knees. Meet with a nice flat back. Now, Starting with your tailbone, I want you to work one vertebrae at a time. So lift your tailbone up and slowly drop your belly down, pull your chest through your arms, hold it. Keep extending through the spine. So pulling the chest, finding more length as you lift your tailbone up. Six, five, straight arm, four, three, two, hold it. Now starting with the tailbone, start to tuck it under. One vertebrae at a time, start to round out the spine until you get to the upper back. Dome it, hold it, pull your belly button in, keep pressing the floor away. Push, push, push the ceiling away with your upper spine. Six, five, four, three, two, one more round. Starting with the tailbone, start to lift it up. Slowly work your way into that back bend. Lift, hold, keep pulling the chest through. Yes, six, five. Four, three, two, last one. Tuck your tailbone. Keep the back arch for as long as you can until you round out the whole spine. Dome, press the upper back away. That's it. Six, five, four, three, and two. Nice job. Everyone come on up to stand. Hopefully, if you put enough effort into that, it was challenging. I'm going to do this on my knees. Feel free to rise all the way up. Our forearm exercise of the day is simultaneously a mobility exercise for my wrist. I glue my arms in towards the body, I make fists, and without letting your forearms move, 
So the forearms are going to want to twist and roll here. I want the top of your arms to stay facing up the whole time. We're making circles with our wrist. As soon as your forearm starts to move, you're losing control. You're not working on your mobility of your wrist and your forearm strength. You're just twisting your arms around. All right, elbows in. 40 seconds. Three, two, and one. Make as big a circles as you can with the hands in the wrist joint. And I want you monitoring your forearms like heck. You can tell that they're going to want to start to move. Don't let them do it. Nice. Good. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. See if you can make those wrist circles a little bit bigger, getting into forearm strength. Controlling what we're doing with our hands. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. A little bit harder than just normal wrist curls, at least in my opinion. Second set, we're gonna circle around the other way. If you don't remember which way you circled, it doesn't matter, you're still moving. Elbows in, fists up, 40 seconds. Circle them around without letting your forearms twist or move at all. They're staying facing up the whole time. Now I have to look down at mine and monitor, otherwise they start to move. Ugh, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Good. See if you can make little bigger circles. Last 15 seconds. Move through it. Get those forearms working to support the body. Giving our wrists some love because they support a lot of things we do. We have six. And last three, two, and release. Shake it out. This next one I call the tricep rock. A lot of mobility work involves rocking and moving and controlling our body. So there's two ways to do this. The first way, which I actually recommend for most people, is coming onto your hands and knees. I walk my hands forward. My hips stay stacked over my knees, so no shifting and rocking of the lower body. I come down. I press up. I come down. I press up. We're working into the triceps. Alternative to this, you do it in plank position. Rock down. Rock up. It's really hard. Okay, so you can choose which adventure you want to go on today. Let's all make our way down. We're going to start our 40 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Rock down, forms to floor. Rock up. Come down, press up. Do not let your butt or your hips move the whole time. We're localizing the movement in our triceps. Good. And if it's easy on your knees, hop up into plank and try it there. You can play with either option. They're both great. Good. Tricep rock. And as you're doing this, you're keeping your glutes active the whole time so they stay nice and stable. Last 10 seconds. Nice. Keep pushing your hands away from you. Four, three, two, and one. A quick rest. Now, if you're doing it on your hands and your knees and it felt easy, start to make your way up into plank position. Worst case scenario, you try it, you don't like it, and you come back down to your knees. So let's reset ourselves up. Walk the hands forward, keeping the glutes exactly where they are. You can always walk your hands forward more to make it more challenging. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Rock down, drop your forearms, press up, down, and up. Totally fine. Also do it in plank. And as you're doing this, you're pressing the floor away from you at the base of your hands the whole time. Great. Friday fun. I like it. These look good. Notice if your hips are starting to shift and rock back. Last 10. In five, we're going to hover the forearms off the floor and pulse. Three, two, hover your forearms, little pulses, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, come on up. To get into the biceps, instead of doing our normal bicep curls, we did a version of this earlier this week. We're going to pull our elbows in, contract your biceps, squeeze, pull your fists up towards your shoulders, 
and then rotate the arms out rotate the arms in. So I want your biceps to stay so contracted the whole time. If you can get your fists up to your shoulders, that's great. Out and in, okay? So we're working a couple muscles here, mainly the biceps. So let's go ahead and set ourselves up. We're going in three, two, and one. Squeeze the biceps, rotate out, pull them back in nice and slowly. Bring them out, squeeze, contract, pull them in. That's the stuff. Keep going. Good. Fist even closer towards your shoulders. Get them in. Use those muscles. Yes. Squeeze the bands. Top them off. Good. And as you're doing this, use the back muscles to open up, contract. Good posture. Squeeze. Bring them back in. Great. Half done. Good. Slower is the name of the game today. Woo, work through it. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Little different than our normal bicep curl, but I like these a lot because we're also strengthening the muscles of our back. So let's do our second set. Pull the fist in towards your shoulders. Squeeze like heck. See if you can even find contact with the forearm and the band. Go crazy. Why not? 40 seconds. Here we go. Rotate open. Rotate closed. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep pulling your forearm toward, in towards your bicep. Woo. Squeeze those fists. Squeeze everything. Nice, last 20 seconds. At the end of this set, we're gonna pull our arms back and pulse in two different directions. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull them back, little pulses back behind you, working towards getting your elbows together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, pump the fist in, squeeze, squeeze, that's it. Elbows back even more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Two more exercises, then we're gonna get our heart rate up in a low impact manner. And then we'll do the question of the day and swap out to our leg band. So this one is a forearm side plank rotation crunch. What the heck? Let's dissect it. I'm in my forearm plank. I rotate over onto one side, take elbow to knee, come back through center, rotate over to the other side, knee to elbow, and back through center. Okay, let's make our way into forearm plank. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Rotate to one side, hand comes behind the head, crunch the knee to elbow and rotate back through center, come on to the other side, get that knee up, and keep working through it. Now I really want you to focus on contact of the knee and your elbow, so that's why we're taking it slow to work into that space. Mm -hmm. Body control and balance, it's hard. Yes, hips up, great. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Nice, Jeff. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. You guys, this is great. I see some shaking and wobbling, and that's perfect. I see everyone working nice and slow. That's exactly what we want. The point here is not just how many reps can I get in. It's how slowly can I move my body, basically how well can I control my body. So let's set up for our second set. Make your way onto your forearms. Good. We're going again in three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Roll over onto one side. Hand behind the head. Get the knee all the way up to that elbow. Crunch it. And then come back through center and switch. Yes. Oh, what a day. Oh, Jim, that was great. Oh, guys, I'm so happy. You're making my Friday. 
And so if you're noticing that this workout is particularly hard for you, especially as we continue on with the lower body, that's something to be mindful of, that maybe your mobility is something to explore more and you know where to find me. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Great, good. Everyone on your hands and knees. Couple shoulder half circles to release the upper body. Take that left arm all the way back, tap the floor, bring it back up and around. And as I do this, I want both of my shoulder heads facing down to the, towards the floor. So we're not twisting open, we're reaching back all the way, tap the floor behind you, reach back all the way up, tap forward. One more with the left arm. All right, let's work into the right arm, reach back. Ooh, big circle, tap the floor, bring it around and through. Take three more. Nice. Last two. Then we're going to have our last upper body exercise, which is a push up launcher. And one. All right. So next up. You can do these on your knees, but I'd like everyone to try them in plank position if you can. I step my feet wider than hip distance. I press my butt back to my heels. So I'm working into my ankle mobility. I shoot forward. I push down, push up. Come back, launch forward, take the push up. Okay? Totally fine to do this on your knees. Press butt to heels, come forward, drop into it. But either way, I want you to get your butt back to your heels as much as you can without sticking your butt up and then come forward for the push-up, okay? We're going in three, two, and one. Let's do it. And keeping in mind that reps do not matter, even if you take two of these, that's fine. Better to try it and fail than not try. I love it. Half done. <laughs> Amazing. Last 10 seconds. Keep pulling your butt back towards your heels. Challenge your mobility here, your control. For four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Keeping your hips stacked over your knees. Walk your arms forward, extending through the fingertips so much that your elbows stay hovered off the floor, shoulder stretch. All right, take a big breath. Walk the hands back towards the body. We have our second set. So walk the feet back nice and wide, wrists under shoulders, 40 seconds, here we go. Pull back, come forward, take the push up. Good. Great. And I love that everyone is doing this and it's a very fluid motion. So we're just working through it. There's not a lot of choppiness. We're keeping the motion going. And that's perfect. I like it. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do two more. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Before we come up to stand, let's get some more mobility in our wrist. We've done this before. Find the back of your left hand and take the back of the hand to the floor. Spread the fingers really wide. Straighten the left arm as much as you can. And then if you have room here, baby rock backwards and forwards. But if you can't straighten your arm, please do not rock. Focus on getting the arm straight before you work into the joint even more. Good. If you're rocking, three more. Two. And one. Now we're going to release the hand, and it's going to feel really funky. So I warned you. Release it. Circle it out. Other side. Back of the right hand comes down to the floor. First things first, I spread my fingers wide. Then I straighten my arm. Then I can rock if you have space. I'm going to make sure that the base of your wrist is rooted into the floor. 
Good. If you're rocking, take three more. Last two. And one. And release. All right. Let's go ahead and swap out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We missed our heart rate boost. We got to do that. If you already took your bands off, just leave your bands off. Jump in on the heart rate boost with us with the bands off, and then you can swap out legs. Otherwise, we almost got away without doing that. I'm so excited for this one. We got to do it. Okay. So first 30 seconds. It's Friday. You know, my brain's on Friday brain. First 30 seconds, floor touch, reach. Down, up, down, up. I don't care if you jump. I want you to try and move a little bit faster for this one, though. Okay? Down and up, 30 seconds. Next 30 seconds, we have our roundhouse kicks with the right leg. Up, up. Okay? Last 30 seconds, roundhouse kicks with the left leg. Okay? You can take these as fast or as slow as you want. Your heart rate will get elevated. So work through it. Try and keep moving the whole time, though. So first 30 seconds, we're going floor touch, ceiling touch in three, two, and one. Down, up, down, up. That's it. And if you absolutely need to jump today, don't let me stop you. Good. Good, get those arms all the way up there. Nice straight, reach. Woo! -hoo. Good, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roundhouse kicks with the right leg. Up, up, up. Yes. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Woo! Get them up there. Good. If you want to move fast, go for it. Half done. These are just evenly hard. <laughs> Last 10. Give me at least two more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roundhouse kicks, left leg. Here we go. Notice if you're more flexible on one side than the other. I know I certainly am. My left leg way easier. Good. Keep your core engaged the whole time. The movement can ideally come from your hip and not by moving the body. Last 10, good, six, five, two more, four, three, two, and one. Now we can swap out our bands. There we go. Great work. All right. Question of the day is, when you wake up on a weekend morning and have nothing to do, nothing planned, what is your favorite thing to do? So you wake up, it's Saturday morning, you have no plans. What do you like to do? Quentin, play video games with Gabe. Aw. Where is Gabe? Is Gabe here today? Gabe's not here today. We gotta get he on said Gabe. He was like dying because he, I think he worked at twice before this. Okay, okay. But like I mean, dying from working that. out, not sick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for reporting back on Gabe. I appreciate it. <laughs> Quentin, are you and Gabe best friends? <laughs> Sophia and Denise say. Sorry. Um. Yeah, we're pretty good friends. Cool. Mm -hmm. The twins say. Sophia says I like to read, and Sydney likes to paint. Amazing. Steve says. Plan for a trip around the world pre and post COVID era. Yes, and Kaziah says go back to sleep. <laughs> it's honest, I is, like it. Go to a coffee shop, except they're all closed. So go pretend that I'm going to a coffee shop and I go find and a picnic table someplace and, and enjoy that. Aw, you pretend, do you bring your own coffee? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Jim likes to create a coffee shop when he can't go to one. I love it though. I mean, and it's less expensive too. Make your own coffee. You get to spend some time outside. It works. My friends and I have been really big into picnics. I think I've gone on more picnics 
in the last four months than I had in my entire life just to see people and be able to eat together outside safely distanced. Uh, and my favorite weekend activity, if I wake up and I have no plans, is make a nice big breakfast and then hit the trail for a hike. So my boyfriend's much along the lines of Keziah. He's like, do we have to get up? Do we have to do anything? Go to bed. Bonnie says, coffee, watching the wildlife in my backyard. George says, oh, wow, you have wildlife in your backyard. That is lucky, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm a little envious. And George says, same as every morning, yoga, meditation, katsu workout. This is coming from one of the most disciplined people I have not met in person, but I have had the pleasure of learning more about online. All right, guys, leg stuff. Let's open up those hips, right leg up. Start to rotate the leg open and close. 30 seconds. As you rotate open, make sure that your body is not moving, only your leg is. So no shifting into it. I take my hands to my hips to keep them stable. Is it any coincidence here that some of the younger folks like going to bed and playing video games, yet us slightly older people are like, let's go do things. <laughs> Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs, shift the weight to the right leg, lift the left leg off the floor, open it and close, 30 seconds. Warm up those hips. Also, warm up the balance because we're going to be using it today. Good. And like most of the stuff we do, balance is also a function of core strength. So my tip for balance is squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt as much as you can while you're working through it, and it'll really help. Good. Six, five, four, three two, and one. My favorite exercise for mobility for the calves, heels up, butt down. We're going to do some arm work with that as well. So I lift my heels up and off the mat. As you drop your butt towards your heels, you want to extend your arms forward, rise up, extend your arms out, rise up. So try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. As we lower down the first time, arms out, or arms forward, arms side. All right, 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Get your heels up. As you drop your butt down, take it nice and slow. Get your butt low, extend your arms forward. Rise back up. As you work into the second one, extend your arms out to the side. And come on up to stand. Keep going. Woo! Uh, do your best not to let your heel touch the floor the whole time. Awesome. I'm just watching you guys like, wow. <laughs> These are good. Last 10 seconds. Woo. Good. Give me one more, but lower. Five. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Quick calf stretch. Step the right foot back, bend into the left knee. Make sure your back heel is glued down. Feel the burn. Bend a little deeper into that front knee. Keep lifting your chest. Feel the whole stretch across the leg. And switch it up. Right foot forward, left foot back. Glue your heel down, then bend into the front knee. Good, now we can kind of be sad with our back leg or we can be active, boom, press it straight. All right, second set, feet are parallel. Lift your heels off the ground, time is rolling. As you drop your butt down, reach the arms forward and rise. As you drop your butt down, reach your arms out to the side and come on up. Now, sometimes the knees like to splay open here. Try and make sure that your knees are parallel. So instead of working into opening up the hips, we really want to challenge the balance. 
Last 15 seconds. Give me your deepest, slowest, highest heeled rep of the day for eight. Last four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Let's get the heart rate elevated. Floor touch, ceiling touch in three, two, and one. Down, up, down, up. Now we primed our bodies to do this based on the last exercise. So get your butt really low, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. Yeah. Good. If you can go fast, go fast. The one time our cardio today that we're getting the speed up. Woo, that's it. Last 10. Then we've got our roundhouse kick. In five, four, three, two. This time starting with the left leg. Here we go. Kick it up. Up. Good. Woo! All the way. Nice. Half done. Keep the core engaged though so that we don't get too crazy and risk injuring ourselves. Last six, five, two more, four, three, two, and one. Other side, take it up and around. Good. Woo! <laughs> there is no way to do this and not look silly, so just lean into it. Last 10. Give me three more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, balance and mobility. So I shift all my weight into my left leg. I take a generous bend into my left knee. Let me come forward a little bit so you can see. I take my right leg. I draw as big a half circle as I can all the way back behind me. I draw as big of a half circle as I can come all the way forward. And I want you to do your best not to let your right foot touch the floor the whole time you do this. So to make it even more challenging, you can take an even bigger bend in that knee, all the way back, all the way forward. Notice my spine is straight, I'm not slouching, okay? So working the right leg, we're going, setting ourselves up, take a bend in three, two, and one. Half circle back, big as you can, half circle forward. Yes. Great. If at any point it starts to get easy, take a bigger bend in your left leg. Good. See if you can trace an even bigger loop around yourself. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have five. Four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Let's work into the other leg. Root all your weight into your right foot. Bend into the knee. Extend your left leg forward. 40 seconds. We are going. Big half circle all the way back. Big half circle around and forward. Good. Keep your left foot off the floor the whole time. And see if you can keep that left leg really straight. Oh, I see everyone wobbling and I love it. Awesome job, Instagram. Awesome job, Zoom. And last 15 seconds. See if you can take a bigger bend into the right leg. Get even lower. Good. Last six. We have four, three, two, and one. Okay, good job, kick the legs out. We've got our second set. So let's set ourselves up all the way into the left foot. Bend into the knee, check your spine, none of this. Think leading with your butt, extend the right leg forward. Time is rolling. Okay, keep lengthening your leg the whole time. Come on, Quinn. <laughs> Good. 
And the whole time you're doing this, I want you to stare at a place on the wall or the floor that is not moving. That'll help with balance a lot. Last 15 seconds. Good. Newfound appreciation for ballet dancers, huh? Five, four, three, two, and rest. Last set. All the weight into the other leg. Bend into the knee. We got our right leg. Left leg comes forward. We're going in three, two, and one. Circle it back and around and forward. If you are not shaking as you're doing this, you can take a deeper bend into your right leg to make it more challenging. There is never or almost never a point where we reach perfection with mobility. We can always grow and improve. And that's what makes it cool. Awesome. After this, we're gonna get our heart rate up for the last time, 15 seconds. Good, give me six, five, one more, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Pedal out the legs for a minute, release it. All right, hands to floor, hands to ceiling, 30 seconds. Let's give it a minute, then we're gonna take a sip of water, and then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. We're going in three, two, and one. Down, up, down, up. Yes. And as you come down, something very important. I do not want you to round out your spine. My chest is up, down, up, down, up. As soon as you do this, that is not how we want to lift things and not how we want to train our body. Ah, I love it. Good corrections, I see. Much better. Even if you can't touch the floor, keep that spine straight. We want to learn to bend into our knees. We always pick things up with our legs, not our back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roundhouse kick, left leg. Here we go. Up, up. Woo! Last time of the day. I got my arms flying around. Keep some control in here. Awesome. Last 10, get them up. Three more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, right leg, here we go. Good. Try not to let the left leg move the whole time you do it. So I should be rooted enough that my body is not flinging around. I'm working into this leg, last 10. Give me four more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, grab a sip of water. Narrow squat to external rotation. Working into the hips again, I've noticed in my experience, the places where we usually get the most sticky in our mobility is shoulders for the upper body and hips for the lower body because they're the biggest two points. So we're gonna work into our hips. So we've done a million squats in our workouts together. Today we're going to do a narrow squat to external rotation. So here's what that means. My feet are a little bit narrower than normal. I bend down, I open up, close, rise up. I drop into it, rotate open, press the knees out, close, and rise. So as you come down, get those hips to open as much as you can, okay? 40 seconds in three, two, and one. I drop down, rotate open, close, and up. Down, open, close, and up. Spine is straight. As you drop into it, get your butt down towards your heel. Yes, awesome, Bonnie. Good, make sure it's two separate movements. Make sure your heels also stay rooted into the floor the whole time. If your heels are lifting, that means your calves are pulling them up and we're contracting the calves, not opening up the hips. And that's enough of me being bossy. You guys keep doing what you're doing, it looks great. Last 15 seconds. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Good, remember, slow. I demonstrated a little bit fast. See if you can slow it down and really work into it. Six, 
five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands on hips, circle around one direction to release. I won't tangle up in myself. Move around the other direction to release them. All right. On this next set, let's see if we can move even slower. So I squat down, get my butt all the way as low as I can. Open, close, rise on up. I do not expect you to go that low. I just want you to do your best to get low. We're going in three, two, and one. Get low, open, close, then I rise. Yes. Mm -hmm. After this, we have two more exercises. And then we are graduating. We're taking our bands off and we're going to do some active mobility work and stretching. Yay. Last 15. Yes. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, we have plank knee to opposite elbow. So it's a two-part variation of a mountain climber. I come down into plank, I'm working one side at a time. I take left knee to left elbow, step it back, left knee to right elbow, step it back, better, Hover it back, don't set your foot down. Up, kick, over, kick. And I don't want this to be fast, I want you to find contact each time or work towards it. Make your way down into plank. We're gonna do a 30 second interval for these ones because we're holding a one-legged plank. We're going with the left leg in three, two, and one. Left knee, left elbow. Each time you do this, try and get the knee a little bit higher, maybe even trapping, tapping your tricep and not your elbow. It's only 30 seconds. Good. Last 10. Get them up, get them up. Use your core, use your hips. We have five, one more, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, quick rest. Good, pick them right back up, come into plank, right leg, we are going, 30 seconds. Right knee to right elbow, better yet, tap your tricep, kick it back, right knee, left elbow. And this is partially a function of your core strength, being able to get your knee to contract and crunch up to your upper body. Good, last 10. Then we're gonna take a quick rest and do our second set. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop the knees. Good. All right, quick rest, clasp your hands, open up the chest. Good. Second set, hands to the floor, step back into plank position, left leg in three, two, and one. Same thing, one more round. And we have our last exercise, which I don't know if you guys are going to love it or you're going to hate it, but it's like the hardest thing we've ever done in these workouts. So I can't wait to at least try it. So why not? Great. Let me see that contact. Good. Last 10. Four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees, last set, ready, and here we go. Right knee, right elbow, kick it back. Left elbow, kick it back, side to side. I think that these are even harder than mountain climbers, in my opinion. Keep going. Awesome. Zoom looks great. Instagram, keep doing what you're doing. Good. Last 10 seconds. Oh boy, oh boy. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. Everyone come on up to stand. 
Now, for our last exercise of the day, we're doing the pistol squat with an optional modification to make it harder. So my pistol squat, I extend my leg forward. I bend the knee, drop into it. I rise back up. You can do whatever you want with your hands. If you want an extra challenge today, because why not? That's how we grow stronger. I take my left foot in my left hand and I take the pistol squat like so. And if you can't grab your foot, grab some part of your leg. Okay? Or you can hang on to something and do it. Make it a little bit easier. That's fine too. Let's start. We're only going to do one set. So one time per leg, one round per leg. So shift your weight into your right foot. Get your left foot up. Option to grab something, your knee, your foot. 40 seconds. Here we go. We've got a lot of time here. Let's see if I can get all the way down. Yes. <laughs> Woo. There we go. <laughs> if you can't grab anything, that's fine. Extend your arms forward. Otherwise, try it. This is the, one of the hardest things we've ever done. So, patience. Half down. Mm hmm. Great. George and Jeff look good. Sydney and Sophia, I just see arms and looks great. Hey, it's Kazaya, good. Last 10. Give me one more good one. Get as low as you can. Last opportunity of the day for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Great. Now, let's work into the last side, our second side. Weight into the left leg, right leg off the floor. Option to grab the leg. Option to grab the wall. 40 seconds. We are rolling. See if I can do this side. Ooh. <laughs> and we are half done. Even if practicing standing on the one leg is the work you need to do today, take that work and get really good at that. Think of it as phases. So starting by balancing on one leg, then maybe bending into the standing leg. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. So I know this isn't Pilates, but the founder of Pilates, Joseph Pilates, said in regards to any exercise, if you can't do it, do it until you can. So sit for five. All right, bands off, let's stretch it out. And we know these rules, but just a quick reminder, if you are exercising with the band, you want to take them off to stretch. If you are only using the bands to stretch, you can obviously use the bands to stretch. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my bands off. This is one of my favorite stretches for the inner thighs, the adductors, which we rarely ever stretch in our workouts. So start to make your way onto hands and knees. I saw a comment from George. Mm -hmm. 1% of people can do a one-legged throw. Really? I didn't know that. Thank you. I had no idea. <laughs> well, now I, now I feel even better this Friday. All right. Thanks, George. All right. Hands and knees. Take the knees wide. Heels are in line with the knees. And I don't know if, you guys, if I've told you guys this before, but I'm not a naturally flexible person. I'm not a dancer. I've never done any of that. This is all just stretching. It's practice. It's like learning a language. So heels in line with knees. Start to rock backwards, rock forward. Good, now we're gonna work into it. Start to lift your right foot off the floor. Set it down, left foot up, set it down, going side to side, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now make your way down onto your forearms, shift your butt back even more, same march, right leg, left leg, 
We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both legs up, lift your heels as high as you can, not your legs, just your feet. Lift, 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 press your butt back, pulse as you press back, eight, seven, keep your feet up, six, five, four, three, two, drop your feet, press your butt back even more. Sorry, I know that was a bit much on the knees. Push, hold, 10 seconds. Relax your fingers, relax your toes, keep pressing your tailbone back, five, four, three, two, keep your knees where they are, make your way onto your hands, wiggle the knees together, rock the hips side to side, nice. Good. Now, we've been practicing this, Take your left knee up to your left elbow and then step the foot up and drop your forearms inside the left leg. Now, I can't get down onto my forearm, no problem. Just let your upper body hang. If you can, and you can always try, reach back. Grab the right foot with the right hand. Just option, otherwise hang. Good, if you have your right foot, release it. Everyone step your left knee back. Rock the hips side to side. This time pull right knee to right elbow. Step the foot up, drop the forearm inside the leg. And I want to try and keep contact with my right knee and my right shoulder the whole time. And if you want a little extra something, reach back, grab your left foot. Good. Release the foot. Step the right knee back. Press your hips up and back, downward facing dog, with the purpose of releasing the hamstrings, pedal out the legs, dropping alternate heel down towards the floor. Hamstrings, calves, the whole back of the legs. As you're doing this, find your pointer finger and your thumb, that L shape, and press into those two fingers to help lift your hips up and back even more. Good. Walk your feet up to meet your hands, forward fold, grab opposite elbow, rock side to side. Switch the elbow grip, fold a little bit deeper, shake your head, heck yes, we did it. And then release the elbows, big breath in, let it go. Even bigger breath in, let it go, roll up. Slowly, one vertebrae at a time. And once you make your way all the way up, give the shoulders a shrug, give them a hug back. One more time, shrug them up, hug them back, bring your hands together, round of applause. Happy Friday, everyone. That was so great. Great job. Chris is not here, so I'll do the traditional go-gator. <laughs> Go get her. <laughs>